Today, I'm going to share with you our experience exploring Ankara National Park in northern Madagascar. There are a couple of different ways you can get here. You can either fly to the two airports in northern Madagascar, Diego or Nosy Bay and you can take a road trip, which is like four to eight hours, depending on road conditions. Or you can drive from the capital city of Antananarivo, which is what we did. It, that took two days. The roads were pretty bad, but it was still a fun adventure. After two full days of driving and one night in Port Berge, we made it to the nearby town of Mbilo Bay, where we met with Madagascar National Park staff at their office. Nambin Su was our designated wildlife and tourism expert. He turned out to be a great guide full of interesting knowledge to share with us. We came during the rainy season, so only the east side of the park was open for visitors at this time. This area is prone to flash floods from November to March. We had to cross a river at the beginning and the end of each of our hikes. We visited this limestone sinkhole. It's completely dry most of the year, and it looks like a natural amphitheater. On this day, it was a raging waterfall which fell 20 meters into an underground river. Nambinsu pointed out some strange markings on a tree, fresh signs of a bizarre looking nocturnal lemur called the Ai Ai. Inkarana is an important refuge for significant populations of two brown lemur species. The first group we found were the charismatic crown lemurs. Brown lemurs are sexually dimorphic, meaning the males and the females look different. The males have distinctive markings on their face, while the females are completely brown. Nearby, we were able to catch a glimpse of the Sanford's brown lemur. The males here have a long white mane of hair around their faces. This family group was pretty shy, so they were a bit hard to film. Madagascar is full of natural wonders, especially little creatures that you never knew existed before, so it's really fun to notice all the little things that you can find. Inkarna National Park has many circuits to go hiking on. It's a mixture of forest and then parts of the trail you can explore the Singi rock formations. It's kind of like going through a maze. Singi rocks are these limestone formations and they're very pointy. They're about 160 million years old. They were formed in the Jurassic period and 70% of the park is covered in Singi. There were a couple really nice shaded platforms for viewing areas. Once you're out on the rocks and you're exposed in the sun, it can be very hot and intense. So be sure to bring your sunscreen. The suspension bridges are really fun to cross. The rule is you have to go one by one across the bridge. It's so fun to explore all the little microhabitats within this national park. There are hundreds of plant species found in Ankarana, including many plants that grow on the Singi rocks. We found these rare and endemic begonia plants as we walked along the edge of the Singi pillars. Scientists from around the world come here to study these plants. They were flowering when we saw them in February. Madagascar is also a great place for orchid lovers. There's over 1,000 known species across the island. And Karina is home to 13 species, one of which is this brilliant violet bunny rabbit orchid. We also saw this species of plated lizard, which is only found in Ankarana. There are 96 species of birds that can be found here. Most, like this kua, are endemic to the island. To my surprise, we found this bright yellow forest crab hunting a little black millipede. I never expected to see anything like this. Night walks are an excellent opportunity to search for nocturnal lemurs and go harping for reptiles and amphibians. We also found a few species of butterflies sleeping, like the swallowtail and African monarch. Dwarf lemurs are very interesting because they're the only primates known to hibernate and store fat in their tails for the cold, dry season. Chameleons are definitely easier to spot at night because they're not as camouflaged when they sleep. This is called a mossy leaf-tailed gecko. 
We also saw this velvet gecko, which is nocturnal, and it's one of the largest gecko species in the world. The next morning, we got up early to explore the campsite and look for leaf litter chameleons. On this trail, we saw at least three Ankarana sportive lemurs. They are nocturnal, and during the day, they find the hollows of tree trunks to sleep in. It's not always guaranteed that you'll see one of Madagascar's small endemic carnivores. We were lucky enough to see the ring-tailed mongoose. We found this guy just off the trail, snacking on maybe a frog or a crab. We were blessed to see numerous species of snakes on this day. The best time to see them here is during the rainy summer season from January to April. Don't worry, there's no venomous snakes on the island of Madagascar. Mm. We also found a juvenile tree boa curled up in a ball in the forest understory. This was such a great day for snake sightings because we also saw this giant ground boa, which was longer than I am. It's probably the biggest snake in Madagascar, I would say. These guys are apex predators. They have been known to hunt lemurs. At the campsite, we found a couple crown lemurs hanging out. They were very curious and habituated to humans. And we also found some other camouflaged animals, the good old scorpion. This is a place where you want to wear shoes so you don't accidentally step on one of these guys because they pack a powerful sting. After exploring the campsite, we walked down the trail a bit and through some more singy rock formations, and then down to our final stop. We visited some glorious caves. The way that the sounds of the birds and the bats echoed were so eerie, but so beautiful. The temperature here was noticeably more damp and cooler than the rest of the park. Here, there's a large colony of fruit bats that roost inside the cave. What I really love about Ankarana National Park is that it's full of surprises, big and small. Lots of animals and plants and the landscape and the forest is just so beautiful. We only spent a short amount of time there, but we saw so many different things and I highly recommend getting out there if you can. See you on the next video.